Hello, in this video, we'll talk about antibody dependent cell mediated cytotoxicity or ADCC response. ADCC is a mechanism of cell mediated immunity. Imagine we are infected by several pathogens like bacteria. In that case, our body will produce antibodies to neutralize these pathogens. And in case of ADCC, several cellular mediators or effector cells actually recognize one portion of this anti antibody and thereby it engulfs the cell which is coated by the antibody. And this is cell-mediated cytotoxicity because it involves effector cell. Now the question is what are the effector cells and in which context ADCC is really important. So imagine we are infected by a virus. Our body would fight back by producing antibodies against this virus and these antibodies would potentially attenuate the virus or disable the virus from entering other cell types. And this is basically a humoral immune response. So in case of active virus, it can interact with a cell surface receptor and thereby it gets its entry inside the cell. But attenuated virus cannot enter because it's blocked by the antibodies. So what will happen to these attenuated virus? It turns out that there are several effector cells which can recognize some portion of the antibodies and it can ultimately engulf the attenuated virus and thereby destroying it. But the question is, what are these effector cells? So if we think about viral infection, these effector cells could be several cell types which has FC receptor. Cells like neutrophils, NK cells, dendritic cells or macrophages all can potentially act like an effector cell because all of them has FC receptors on them. Among them, the most potent one is the NK cells. Similar kind of response happens against bacteria or even helminth infection and thereby the pathogens are eliminated. Now let me tell you that antibody dependent cell mediated cytotoxicity is associated with type 2 hypersensitivity reaction. One example of that is mismatched blood transfusion. We know there are several types of antigens in our RBCs, right? And based on that, we have blood group A, B, AB, or O. Imagine a situation where a person with blood group A has given blood to a person with blood group B. Clearly, this is a mismatch blood transfusion. Now, in person A, there would be anti-B antibody and there would be A antigen on the RBC surface. Now, in the recipient who has blood group B has B antigen on the RBC surface and anti-A antibody in the plasma. Now, in case of this transfusion, the anti-B antibody which comes from the donor would eventually bind on the B antigen present in recipient's RBC. Then it would attract the attention from other effector cells like macrophages or natural killer cells which would eventually lead to destroy the RBC. So the RBCs could also be destroyed by complement mediated lysis. So this particular video tells you that antibody dependent cytotoxicity is a potential mechanism underlying type 2 hypersensitivity responses. Now principles of antibody dependent cytotoxicity can be used for treatment of cancer. Let me tell you how. Now tumors have specific antigens on their surface which are known as tumor antigens. Now let's say a researcher has generated a particular monoclonal antibody against this tumor antigens. So obviously these monoclonal antibodies would selectively target the tumor cells and not the normal cells because normal cells doesn't have tumor antigens. And these are something which is very specific for tumor cells. In that case, other effector cells like NK cells can engulf the or destroy the tumor cells by interacting via FC receptor and thereby it can potentially reduce the tumor volume and this is a topic of ongoing research. So what we learned in this video? In this video we learned what is ADCC response, what are the cellular players of ADCC response, ADCC response is a mechanism underlying type 2 hypersensitivity and lastly we understand that uh, cancer treatment can be done using the principle of ADCC, especially inducing the NK cells to engulf or destroy the tumor cells. 
So if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. You can support my channel in Patreon. If you are an Indian viewer, you can support me via Vim UPI. If you like this video, give it a quick thumbs up. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. You can also find my courses in Unacademy, which is India's biggest learning platform. Thanks for listening. And if you have any suggestion, put it in the comment. See you in the next video. Thank you.